Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry has provided information about the potential for formaldehyde exposure in homes. This includes the Federal Public Health Agency's findings and suggestions for reducing exposure to this chemical that was listed by the National Toxicology Program in 2011 as known to be a human carcinogen. The agency reports that coming into contact with formaldehyde by breathing it or touching it may affect people's health, so reducing the levels of it in a home is beneficial. While there are small amounts of formaldehyde in nearly all homes, levels are higher in homes with smokers. Tobacco smoke contains formaldehyde. If someone in the home smokes tobacco products, the smoke may be the greatest source of formaldehyde in the home. And homes with new products or new construction. Formaldehyde levels are higher in various new manufactured wood products. New products listed by the agency that often contain high levels of formaldehyde include some manufactured wood products such as cabinets, furniture, plywood, particle board, and laminate flooring, as well as permanent press fabrics, and household products such as glues, paints, caulks, pesticides, cosmetics, and detergents. There are also a number of helpful tips provided by the agency to lower levels of formaldehyde inside of homes, like letting new products that contain the chemical off gas outside of living spaces, and buying products labeled no VOC or low VOC. Regarding the health effects of formaldehyde exposure in the home, the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry shares the following. Most people don't have any health problems from small amounts of formaldehyde in their homes. As levels increase, some people have breathing problems or irritation of the eyes, nose, throat, or skin from formaldehyde exposure in their homes. These health effects can happen in anyone, but children, older adults, and people with asthma and other breathing problems are more likely to have these symptoms. If you or someone in your home has these symptoms, follow the steps to reduce indoor formaldehyde levels. If symptoms continue, talk to a doctor about them. Breathing in very high levels of formaldehyde over many years has been linked to rare nose and throat cancers in workers. For those that want to have a home tested, the agency recommends they hire a qualified professional who has the training and equipment to test formaldehyde levels. These are just a few things to know about formaldehyde and common sources of exposure in the home. To learn more about this or other air testing, building science, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.